No. Yes. No. Yes. Why? Six birds in a trench coat, building a zoo. Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Exhibitat Zoo. We got foxes in boxes, and other foxes. We've got a baby bongo in a box, and about three quarters of a gazillion baby tortoises. We also have the most chaotic video so far in this franchise because this time, everything happened. Now the animals that I'm planning on putting in here today are the babirusa and the warthog, who for one individual needs 290 square meters. If you decide to have two animals, the babirusa needs slightly more space than the warthog at 305, where the warthog requires a clean 300. If you breed them though, the warthog needs 325 square meters for two adults and the maximum number of babies where the Babarusa needs only 320. So basically, they need the same thing, which is why I place them next to each other. But first... Power wasn't the only thing I forgot over here. We're definitely gonna need some trash cans. And we also forgot a staff room. This one only houses four people, and I'm gonna have eight that are not working at the same time. So I'm gonna plop in a large staff room. Let's just use that. Wow, that's ugly. Let's slap that one in there. All of you are now a work zone. Wait. Oh, I already put a staff room in there for those people. Or did I? Is that a different staff room? I'm so confused. Work zone 22. Sale 5. Excellent. We don't need vets. We don't need keepers. We don't need educators. Um, all my educators are bored. You know what, let me check on the birds, I'll be right back. Okay, so I kind of do understand why they were super ticked off, the birdies, because the dog had peed all over the floor, not in their room, but in the bathroom right next to them. And it really was very, very stinky. I'm not angry at Luthi though, my dog. He um, really can't help it. He was at the vet the day before yesterday getting IV fluids and IV antibiotic because the poor guy, we went in there because he was obviously not feeling very good. So they gave him some painkiller x-rays as well, which really didn't show anything. So they sent us home, um, but pretty much the second we we walked through the door here, they called us back there because he had a massive kidney infection. And when you're 16 years old, little dog, a kidney infection on that scale is not a joke. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You're being fired. He is now getting antibiotics through pills, and he is also drinking chicken-flavored doggy electrolyte drink. Um, so... With that, and a bladder infection that he apparently also has, uh, it's kind of no wonder that he's peeing all the time. Animal management. In fact, even letting him into the garden every half hour does not seem to be enough. And I really can't do any more than that, so I'm just wiping up pee now. Hopefully, in a few days, he will be much better. He's already much better. Now he's just peeing every- what is going on? Oh yeah, I fixed those. Those were vandalized. You a vandal? What about you? You a vandal? So vandals can actually come in groups, I found out. In a- whoa! Yeah, that had nothing to do with the game. There's just this giant crow right outside my window. It's absolutely gorgeous. Are you a thief? Are you a thief? You are a player. Hi! Hello. There are too many plants. That's not true. Animal neutral. Did I forget to give you water as well? Why is it always the water? Uh, crud muffin. So let's just get some water. Um, I might have a problem. Oh, wait, did I just... Was there somewhere where it could... Holy crud, this camera. Can I please put water somewhere? Anywhere? Nowhere? I can't just not have... Wait. You'll fit, like, floating mid-air. But not down there. But why? No. Yes. No. Yes. Why? I don't want floating water. Okay, so I'm gonna just move you up here. Definitely does not look very pretty. I'm gonna take you, as well as you, and you. Copy and place. Move out here. 
That's nice. I mean, it really isn't, but I can move you up a little bit. Now, obviously, this makes no sense because where's the water coming from? So much against my will, I'm gonna have to go in here and click gut. Go here, go there, go here, and down. There we go. So what color do you want to be? Dark gray. Why can I not recolor this? You, not the freaking plant. That thing. Recolor you gray. Okay, so I mean, that looks dumb, but it's the best we can do and we can't have our monkeys dying from Whoa. Be thirsty, go drink. You have problems with your hydration. Now you are solving your hydration problems and you are 100% happy. Excellent. Okay, do we have any other? We have so many babies. Pause. So just in the time that it took us to give the, those things water, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven babies. You see what I'm dealing with here? Okay, so you can maybe be generation two. You, you, and you are just going to be released. You will be sold. You will be released. And now we have two little babyrooses in here who really do not like their terrain. And now that it looks super boring, you're happy. Since this little lady is actually already pregnant, we are going to need to give her 320 square meters minimum. Now, seeing as these little piggies are a little bit smaller than the Nyalas we put in, we should be able to maybe build with these rocks instead of the mud panels because they take up a little more space vertically but they also look more natural, so I kind of would like to be able to build with these. And my plan is to give these guys an incredibly tropical looking habitat. Hoping you can traverse this ramp. Yep, you can get up there and you can also get under there. Take the entire thing and do like that. Now, I don't need to test the traversability again after moving it, because that will be the same regardless of location. But I do want to see if you can traverse a slightly steeper ramp. Yes. Because then maybe I can then make this wider up here. It would look better down here if I could get it a tiny bit more steep. Yes. Okay, then. All I have to do is... Copy that. I'm gonna flip it around so that the rock is not entirely the same pattern. And then grab all of them. And just the two of you. Just the two of us. Does that... does not look great. But I can do the same thing that I did in Nyala Habitat and just put a flat rock on either side of the corner. And I can move this one out here and do that and do this and just plop you, let's see, like that. Now I want this thing, I think. Angle snap on. No, that pig is wondering what the... Why can I not use the... I can use that arrow. I cannot use the red... Now I can. No, I can't. Hello? Grab the red arrow. Well, that looks very symmetrical. Oh well. Everything can be fixed. Now we can put that one back. Put that thing back where it came from or so help me. Let's do this and that and more of this and whoa. So now it just looks stupid in a different way. Okay, why not? Oh, it's sticking up. Take this one instead. I mean, kind of like the whole doing sort of a spiky mountain thing out here. In front, and not only up along the back wall. I wonder if this is wide enough. I also wonder if... Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Click. Will you be able to walk up that? Before I even find out if it works, however, I will beautify it because if it doesn't work, I'll have to 
do something else. What I'm trying to say is I want to use this one to lock off the side, so I have to make sure that that one is attached to it correctly, and I can't just sink that one down as far as I might have to in order to match it up with the other thing because I don't want it doing this. Okay, so that is as far down as it can go, which means that this one will have to go up further. The second part of this does not have to be as steep as the first. We are just going to pull that one out here and do like this. We do have to make sure, though, that we don't block this off like I just did there, because then the staff will not be able to walk out here. So instead of doing the other thing, we're going to do this thing. She said with the utmost eloquent clarity that, of course, everyone understands. Up, over, in. That sounded like a 1990s workout video. So, I mean, the first part looks okay. This, why does this look like an animal? That's the back leg, that's the front leg, this is a tail, the, is, this is a lizard. And we have gotten far enough out here, I think, that I don't want it completely straight. Um, what? Please refrain from randomly disappearing. Yeah, what I was saying is we've gotten far enough out that the staff can walk out here. Why are you consistently being inconsistent? Is it because you want to tell me that there's something else I should be doing? Let's just make these walls more cliffy so that we don't have a cave with blue skies inside it. angle on the sun, but also this part here attached so that it is not floating. This is the one I want to use for that, simply because it is spiky. Is that too Lion King? It's definitely too big. Maybe that. Yeah, that I think is the best bet. I mean, if we bring this one up so that it we have that spiky effect. Yes, that's good. And it really doesn't matter that I don't know where that sentence was going. Tiny bit up. And we don't probably even need that one. I mean, we don't probably even need this one. Yeah, no, let's do that. Or what? I am certainly having an easy time making up my mind today, am I not? This is very... This one has saved me before. Yeah, I think this might be my new favorite rock. It's normal to have a favorite rock, right? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I have never looked at them from this angle. <laughs> Boop. How much space do you have? We went from 239 before a cave expansion, 251. Oh, wait. Probably because that thing is not wide enough. Oh, it is wide enough, but then something happens up here. Red Rough Lemur is about to mature. Can I just build this thing and then deal with the lemurs later? Oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's why it's just doing the thing I don't want it to instead of doing the thing I want it to. Kind of like when people say, why don't you understand what I'm saying? Um, I do understand what you're saying. The problem is that what you're saying is not what you mean. You are using words that you don't understand. That was rant number 257. Okay, Piggy. Now, can you get up there? No. So what exactly is happening right here? You, 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 you. Move out here. And yes, I know I have a very strange looking shelf out here, but 
but that can actually end up looking really good with plants on it. There. Wait. I'm not even done building it. You just had a baby. That is such a cute baby. Can you get up there now, please? Yes. But you still don't have enough space. You have two babies now. Great, so you need even more space. These piggies are challenging. And they also want a lot of plants, don't they? Oh, they want some plants anyway, which are probably going to take away some of their traversable area. Let's just see what we can do in terms of that is too tall. Sticky is sort of inside the rock. And down. Right there. Okay, so that's actually enough plant cover to just two bamboo thingies. I think I'm going to put in something else over here. Oh, small. That is nice. Oh, I like these as well. No bamboo for you. You get this one instead. And before I forget, I'm going to give the pig some water. Kind of hide it in the bamboo, maybe? In which case, I can make the water pipe. Bamboo green. I do not want any more. I hate those. No more scaviolas. Uh, tomatoes? Sure, why not? I mean, because it looks dumb, that's why. I like these. Yeah, I like that one. And then this one, which was a tree last time. Where can you traverse? do the same thing I think that I did with the red foxes which is put in one area that does not look natural. I built this cave for them with tons of mulch and roots and then I did this which is a different thing. Only here it's not going to be one side one thing one side the other thing. I am going to put in a floating very tall wooden thing up here. So I'm going to go into construction click log pen to get that one. Align to surface. Bloop. Yeah, the piggies can definitely fit in here and also here. So now we're running into issues with the plants. We'll use a half one and a quarter one. And rotate the plant slightly. In fact, with the plant rotated, we might be able to fit an entire whole one. Almost. Oh wait, did I just solve the problem when I stopped trying? I think I did. Because I absolutely don't mind it peeking through if I can just make a hole for it. Like that. See? That looks pretty good. So get rid of the word pan and just take this thing to finish up with a log all the way and a shorter one, but not that short. Actually, let's just take that one again and move it in here. Copy and place. Give me the short one. Not that short. That looks actually not horrible. My camera work is pretty bad, though. Okay, so, um, please? Yes. 366. Yes. Yes. Next step. Get these looking less bad. Question is, will attaching them to the wall be enough? Do I need a pillar? I think I need a pillar. This is very wide and will take a lot of their space. That looks bad. <coughs> kind of looks like it's attached now, doesn't it? And then if I click architecture, walls, structural props, keep metal on and take blueprints off, the only thing I get are these. Now this seems like it's built to carry a lot more weight than this, which is bad. So we plop this one down and we lift it up. We take this one instead. Now, if we put it here... Okay, so the problem with what I'm doing here is that it doesn't make sense. But, I mean, this does. I'm sorry, baby piggy. You seem to be stuck in a bad place. 
Yeah, that's that's gonna have to be the thing that we do. All of these copy and place, angle snap on, bloop bloop, move quick. So you can still walk under these, right, piggies? Traversable area. 364 out of 320 necessary. Which also means we can definitely put more plants in here. And you will have lots of room for your enrichment. But why are your TV screens peeking through the wall? Please move. Papyrosa. 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 Adopt and place two different exhibit species. All species are exhibit species in this zoo. Baby pig, baby pig. <laughs> nah. Sir. Oink a lot. How are your jeans? I think you might be inbred, sir. And what about the other baby? You're a little girl. Lady squeal. Why are you hurt? No. Habitat. Spishish. And then it's not under B, it's under North something something Paparusa. Enrichment food. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to fit this gigantic thing in here. But you like the little fruit spike trees. Wait, if I put it up here, will the keepers be able to get to it? Let's check that. Staff traversable area. Um, hello, Hel hello, oh, <laughs> is this the issue? Uh, can you show me your traverse? Seriously, I'm gonna shove a fruit spike up here. Pet research complete. Prison crapper inaccessible. Yeah, well. I'm gonna give you one more fruit spike here. Why are you leaving? What if we take all of this and move you a tiny bit? Oh! Now you can get in! That was so stupid. But you can get to all of the things. So let's take a barrel up there and also a barrel here. Now do you have enough food enrichment? You have plenty. What? Oh, old age. Well, I suppose that's... No, died? Oh, what? They're all dying? Protesters? Okay, if you're still thirsty, then your problem is a mental problem. You have a cognitive impairment. You have matured. Go to the Trade Center. You have matured. Go to heck. It says that you have died, but, I mean, you don't... No! No! I didn't like that. No. No! They're all cheering! Assholes. Okay, so everything's maturing just because I unpause it for three seconds to see if my pigs will fit. Train all staff. More babies. Oh yes, Sir Oinkalot and Lady Squeal. You are now contracepted. Then let's see who has matured. Wait, I have two females, both set to be the next generation. There can be only one. Wasn't there supposed to be a new Highlander movie? Seriously though, weren't we supposed to be getting another Highlander movie? I heard that it was happening, and then I heard nothing. And I am not content with the nothing part. You dehydrated because you're an idiot. Wow, a lot of you are idiots. Move to the water. Stop running away from the water. Now drink the water. It's there. Look, if, if you start walking away now and, and you die, then it is your fault. Hey, no, not you. You have decent genes. I'm going to need you to survive. Drink. I will move you into the water. What are you doing? Are you sleeping? At the bottom of the water? While dehydrated? Seriously? Okay, 
you know what? Go to the quarantine because otherwise you're probably gonna die because you're too dumb. So let's look at all of the stuff that just happened. Died. Fighting. Nayava had offspring. No, I want to see your baby, not you. Aww. What? Okay, we definitely need to take a look at the prairie dogs and the... I'm gonna need paper. I'm trying to build it and everything keeps happening. The time that we spent trying to sort out the babies we just got also gave us four more babies. They're really cute! Ooh, I created a koala with good genes. Nice. What? Why are you in the panda habitat? Screw it, I'm releasing you to the wild. Why are they still dehydrated? They're supposed to get fed in the quarantine, but I guess they don't get anything to drink. I have so many problems right now. Can I just sell you and get rid of my problem that way? Are you leaving? Thank you! Now let's get back to building. I'm lost again. Do we have- No, we're doing one thing. One thing at a time. Now. Another lemur is about to mature. <sighs> click the birdie! Please click the birdie. Bye!